Hello everyone, my name is Oscar. In today's video, we will be going over the structures of the eye. The white of the eye is known as the sclera, and on the sclera, you have muscles that sit on. These muscles help to coordinate and move the eye. I want you to coordinate yourself and think that your nose is here and your ear is here. Because your nose is medial, we call this the medial rectus. Opposite will be the lateral rectus. Take a look. On the top, that's your superior rectus, and on the bottom, your inferior rectus. There are two additional muscles by the names of obliques, and I want you to visualize that a muscle will come this way and will insert at an angle. We call that the superior oblique. What you're looking at is the tendon of that muscle. Similarly, on the bottom, you have the inferior oblique, and what you see right there is that muscle. It is important for you to understand that the lacrimal gland, which is not shown in this model, sits laterally. And the lacrimal gland is responsible for tear production, which will come and drain medially where your nose is. Hence, why you get a runny nose when you cry. Additionally, this clear aspect of the eye, I hope you can see that, that is called the cornea. And the cornea is oxygenated through the oxygen of the atmosphere. Now, let's take a look at the inside of the eye. All of the yellow that you see, that is the retina. And this brown color, that is representing the ciliary body, and this is the ciliary muscle. Where the ciliary body meets the retina and creates this rigid line, we call that the aura serrata. Again, the aura serrata is where the retina meets the ciliary body. 11, aura serrata. It is important for you to understand that there are two cavities in the eye. There is the anterior cavity and the posterior cavity. The cavities are separated by the lens. So the lens is a structure that separates the posterior cavity from the anterior cavity. The anterior cavity has two chambers, the anterior and the posterior chamber. The anterior chamber of the anterior cavity is the space from the cornea to the iris, and the iris is the color of the eye. And I'll say that again. The anterior chamber of the anterior cavity is the space from the cornea to the iris from the iris to the lens. This is the posterior chamber of the anterior cavity. Overall, the anterior cavity has aqueous humor, which is much runny and liquid, versus the posterior cavity that contains vitreous humor, which is much gelatinous and viscous. Remember that it's the lens that separates the cavities, but it's the iris that separates the chambers. Upon removing everything, take a look. All of the yellow is the retina, and it's very vascularized, meaning that it has a lot of blood vessels and nerves. The nerves they're leaving, they create a structure in the eye that is called the optic disc. The optic disc lacks any photoreceptors, hence it's your blind spot. Leaving, it becomes the optic nerve, number eight. Right off to the side, number nine, this is your macula lutea, which is a place in the retina that has a very sharp vision. It is not shown here, but you should know that there should be a point right in the middle of the macula lutea, and we call that point right in the middle, fovea centralis. Fovea centralis is responsible for having the most number of photoreceptors. I hope that this video helped you for your educational purposes. If that was the case, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below and I will link the item where I purchased this model from. Thank you and have a great day and good luck for your terms.